Love money. Yo, yo, what's up? We in the studio. Tell the name of y'all group. From the desk of Julio Julio's mother. Sandricus one. RP son, Charles Jones the second Fulio, the real life story documentary coming soon. The story that only I can tell because I know the truths from the fakes. I think I'm the only mother that keep it real while most others know damn well what was going on with their own sons. This been going on since 2014, 15. Some of these same women celebrating your death is some of the same women who looked up to me sitting in my building. I was their teacher and they were my students at a big wrong age taking notes. Let's not forget that. The same women that was buying your CDs for their kids, let's not forget that. These same women's sons did the same thing you did, went tit for tat on this drill music in which I never condone. Motherfuckers ask where his mom's at. It started at home. Them not knowing, I stayed on you about this beef shit. Cussed you out, begged you to take stuff down. And when I was shot eight times, I spared their lives, even though mine was changed. 10 plus years ago, you started this music stuff in Jacksonville, Florida, and had all the teen parties turned. Caught mega buses to ATL at 16 for your career. I think your first interview there was DJ Small Eyes, but I'll talk about this later in the documentary. I do want to thank those who believed in him at the age of 17 when he moved to Atlanta. Rap Coalition, Zaytoven, especially Young Thug and others who had impact on his career. The untold truths only I can tell coming soon. Special thanks to Mark Craig Music. So much unreleased coming soon. Damn, prayers up. Man, listen, bro, I'm just gonna say this, my dog, like, niggas always think they're affecting, you know, just one person when they doing, when they killing motherfuckers or beefing or whatever. But the truth is, man, just like you just heard, like that lady said, uh, Fulio's mom. And I believe her name is, is it Sandra? I can't pronounce her name. I was gonna say Sam, Miss Sam. Mama Julio, we can call her Mama, uh, Mama Fulio, I should say. Look how she was affected by that, bro. Um, she sounded like a very respectable woman. From what she said, she's a teacher. I don't know if she taught, whatever she taught, hair school, college, high school, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She. And I had a feeling like it was like that too, bro, because niggas be thinking like niggas come up like that. Like, no, nah, sometimes, some a lot of times people do come up a certain way, but a lot of times people are, the streets make them that way or life makes them that way. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's just a shame, bro. Um, I don't know who she was talking about, who mothers is dissing her son. I don't know if you're talking about Young and Nate's mom or whoever mama's is it is, but that's crazy that some of the mothers that are dissing her son was once her students and, you know, I guess once cordial with her. You know what I mean? Um, I just feel like it's a damn shame, bro. Um, the, whole, the whole situation is just nasty. It's not even just this one. It's like the whole cycle of this senseless violence and shit over bullshit for real. I mean, and most of the times it don't be complete bullshit. It be like, it go it get to a point where there's no is no return. You know what I mean? A point of no return. And it's like, like, bro, did you did you just hear what I said when I when I read what she said? She got shot eight fucking times. Like, bro, that kind of make me that put me in Julio mind a little bit. Even however it started, a nigga shoot your mom eight times, bro. I don't give a fuck if it's on one shot, one sitting or several times over. One time is enough. And niggas shot his girlfriend. I, I I wanted to. I was trying to find like his mom talking about that. I've always heard that people had shot his mom, and heard little things that you know that was said. But I never quite knew the story. But then I go see that his girlfriend like she got shot in her fucking head. I don't know if it's the same one that he that just uh, tweeted about him when he passed away. But yeah, she had like the one I seen. She had a wild ass. It, it like they try to blow her motherfucking head off, man. It's footage of this shit. Check it out. Boy. <laughs> no commercial. Oh, don't look right. You finna cheat on her ass, cuz. Ugh. Ugh. 
Y'all thought I was dead. Yeah, I bitch. You ain't upscore just yet. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't upscore just yet, bitch, that boy. No commercial. But I just definitely want to say, man, it's, it's a sad situation. Um, and Julio Fulio, man, like, I could, I could sit here and be like, nigga, you was a good kid or... But when you, he got shot at 15. Like, even a good kid, you get shot or some fuck shit happened to you to the, it alters your whole life and your mind. Then your mom gets shot. Then your homies getting killed. Now you all for, yeah, he probably was like, fuck that nigga. It's beef till I die. You know what I'm saying? Sad to say, that's probably exactly what he was on. You just shot my girlfriend, shot my, and that's what I was saying the other day, bro. Like, who, he, Julio, I just feel like he didn't value his, his life for one enough and like the people around him because look at all them people that got shot because of you my nigga you got your mama shot your girlfriend shot all these dead homies and you're gonna keep perpetuating the same shit in it but I, like i said i understand this you want to heat a battle the art of war and you know what i'm saying they didn't already did what they did you already did what you did and but it just man it's all fucked up man it's just it's, just a, it's a fucked up sad situation bro like no cap bro and i just want to say Condolences go out to his to his moms and who, his family, whoever you know. Like they always say, bro, it's more people affected by it, bro. Like you think y'all didn't think that he had a mom or something? Y'all didn't think he had people that care about him? And she's and she's kept saying like, take that music down, stop doing that shit. This shit is bull. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like I'm tweaking, bro. Like. I'm trying to think, is his mom paralyzed? Did his mom get paralyzed or something? Cause she said she got shot eight times in her life changes. From what it sounded like, I don't know. It's not like she was talking about herself. I might have read that wrong, but that's what I thought. You know what I'm saying? Um And and, and one thing, one more thing. Y'all little niggas out there, don't start doing this. I seen this this other this cat on TikTok. He's like a dancer. He didn't went to Holiday Inn. And he just shot him a trolling video. I don't know if this is about to be a new challenge. Go shoot videos in front of Holiday Inn singing Julio's When When I See You. But y'all stop doing dumb ass shit like that. Because they're going to shoot you on your motherfucking shit. Not me. I'm just saying. When I did eat on his birthday. Four shot, three dead in the worst way. Damn. He kept this on me. What happened? Now we smoking 23. <laughs> you always on my mind. Always on my mind. When I ride through the east side, I want. You know what I mean? That's gonna be the next challenge. You know what I'm saying? Any nigga that's mocking fool, I'm telling you, he got you, he got other people that care about him. And just not even that, just pushing that everything don't have to be a trend, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like that's 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 tasteless, my nigga. But I guess anything for y'all to give views, right? Y'all let me know what you think though. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, I'm gone. Yeah. Hey, y'all, come here. I got, I got them trailing me, man. You trip. I'm gonna lie, they can't see you. You saw how you was standing at the car? Yeah. What you was doing? Wait, who? That right here. Y'all ain't seen him? Oh, hell no. Yeah, they hopped out this car right here. We scared, though. I was just making sure y'all was on point, too. All right. Yo, the dad, you a snitch, huh? Oh, either way, he gonna get it. Hey, y'all, come here. I got, I got them trailing me, man. You tripping?